hello welcome dr shushma singh this side today in unit 9 the household and the family we are going to start our lecture on the topic views on the family in india research on the family in india has adopted different approaches like any knowledge on a cultural reality family research has also been conducted from different points of view we will see in unit 12 of this block that kinship has brief approached differently in ideological studies than in empirical sociology and social anthropological research similarly family in india has been studied through the ideological and empirical approaches we shall now examine this the first is textual view the family in hindu thought is derived from the idea of the pitri vin that is ancestral indebtedness every man has to repay the debt of his ancestor through procreation the birth of a child especially a son was not only a reason for being but also being free of ancestral debt raising the next generation that is the sons to adulthood ensures one's way to heaven the sons privilege and obligation to light and funeral pray and observe certain death ritual symbolizes this indebtedness and the way out of it the hindu family was defined as the closest group bound by mutual ties of giving and receiving the funeral oblations the family was a three or four generation group depending on how and whom you count in or out shraddha and the property were linked in the notion of the family the text based dimension of the hindu family is one of the property holding and shraddha performing unit the hindu family became contemporaneous with the indian joint family through the engagement of british colonial administration and indigenous system of kinship and marriage as reflected through the hindu secret text the dharm shastra many projected the indian joint family as a surviving example of the ancient form of human family he had disconcerned the outlines of the ancient family in the legal system in ancient rome and in the celtic and slavic survivors of the earlier forms of the social organization to marry in this patriarchal family worked as cooperation with its member as its trustees many early indian sociologists were trained in ideological approach prabhu described the patriarchal form of the joint family as a family form of all hindus rich poor urban and village folk guriye claimed an indo european pedigree for the indian joint family the hindu family had for long found itself analyzed commented upon and prescribed as the ideal norm the upper caste and upper class indians derived their family molarity and norms from the liturgical text and this became an ideal for other caste to emulate in the process of their sanskritization to use the shrinivas concept the ideological amagal gum was further complicated by the british legal reinterpretation of the liturgical concept the heredity literary had their own tradition attitude biases and interest which influenced their comments and interpretations as if this was not sufficiently complicated during the british rule certain ideas and myth regarding the indian family organization obtained wide currency through the british law courts 
and judges and the new class of lawyers historians as well as sociologists has used textual sources to comment on social institutions including the family in her extensive survey of the indian kinship system with kinship vocabularies had identified four main types of kinship organization in india by carve carve study brought out the dravidian kinship system and its family form as distinct from the form in most part of the india it is through the ideological approach that hindu joint family came to be considered as ideal and often the real family in india whether it is the ramayana family or the upper caste and class hindu family the large joint family is not a universal form of the family in india both at present and in the recorded past it may be reiterated that the joint and the nuclear type of family are ideological constructs the family as obtained in the field through empirical social anthropological and sociological studies is much more varied than the ideal joint family now let us move to the next point the field view gudey's influence took some time to show itself in indian family studies however empirical study of the family was still under the strong influence of the basic difference between the oriental and the accidental family types and this type caste remained a given fact that though the empirical reality had to be pigeon holed into either of the compartments of course the term domestic group as well as household provided a processual view of the family which brought to attention the lived reality of family closer to the sociological scrutiny the rivers had given the lead for providing empirical cases and actual figures through the genealogical method the jurial and textual influence continued its preponderance for nearly half a century in the family studies in india the discourse on the native category of the family was influenced by colonial administration and anthropology the family received a greater deal of interest during the first few decades of the emergence of the sociology and social anthropology in india in her comprehensive survey dubey describes the overwhelming interest in family studies as being next only to those in caste it is an interesting co incident and a case of comparative study that with india's political independence and following the formation of the indian sociological society the sociological study of the family experienced a watershed from what shrinivas calls the book view of the to the field view almost simultaneously came up and west run field based anthropological and sociological studies these studies provided a break from the studies of the ideological school based on legal and liturgical arguments a shift occurred from the textual ideology to the conceptual in the study of the family in india sociologists and social anthropologists began to study the various extant form of the structures of the family as they existed in reality rather than the elsewhile text based dimensions of the family as a property holding and shraddha performing unit the effect of liturgical and legal text continue to linger in studies of the joint family and the changes therein the overlap of the ideal normative and behavior with that of value and fact in family studies 
continued until the concept of the household as a heuristic device seemed to rescue family sociology from the confusion. The overwhelming influence of the Hindu upper caste North Indian ideal of the family was assumed somewhat erroneously as the all India Hindu and Indian family notwithstanding the fairly earlier studies among non-Hindu South Indian communities in India by Kapadia. Here we want to close this lecture. Thanks for listening.